Hello, everyone. You're welcome to Aquaba Podcast. My name is Akosia Doma, and today we have uh, a magnificent gentleman, yeah. right? It's going to be a wonderful conversation. Today, we're chatting about everything. Today, Aquaba Podcast is going by chemist. <laughs> I'm sure he is shocked for me to know that, but yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you so much once again. And like we always do it, we like our guests to introduce themselves. So, hello. Hi. You're welcome. Please hello. introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hello, everyone. I am on Instagram, social media, like the name people know me from uh, for is Alhaji TOZ. The real name is Jonathan. So, I'm allowed to see Ozzy. Ah, uh, yeah. what from the see Ozzy? Was that a school father's name? Oh, all right. Uh, right, so sure. I'm allowed to see Ozzy, and as she said, I'm a biochemist and a content creator and a food influencer. Beautiful. So Thank today we'll start our um, episode with a little game I like to call us Two Truths and a lie okay so you're gonna tell me two truths mm -hmm. and then you're also gonna tell me a lie right. and i'm supposed to detect which one is a lie okay yeah so go so i should go on <laughs> yeah. oh, wow um so two truths and a lie yeah um my favorite food is jollof rice mm -hmm. um i'm a biochemist and i'm a fancy ah I know that one. I know that one. Very, very easy one. Very, very Let's easy go. one. You made me think small, but obviously, mm -hmm. biochemist is a truth. Yes. Um, fancy is a truth. Mm -hmm. And then the lie, obviously, obviously, okay, obviously, okay. is the jello fries. Okay. Is the lie. So what, what's I mean, Fufu, she's hard. Like, the, the, the investigation I did, the research I did, just to make sure that i just blow those interview guys yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> so i'll just go straight to the point and okay. ask you right okay. what like led you into content creation um so i think con i myself like to experiment and growing up if people were asked what do you want to become in future today i'm this tomorrow i'm that so i was like the tycoon of everything happening once I wanted to be a teacher, I wanted to be a pilot, and I wanted to do everything. So, so content creation actually started for me way back in uni, 2016, 17, in UCC. So that's where I ventured into content creation, started making videos in my room and putting them on Instagram, basically. Mm. That's how it started. Wow. And how does your background as a biochemist, right, influence your uh, content creation journey okay so it's weird when i tell people i'm a biochemist so mm. i have a degree in bi biochemistry from ucc and people are like so how do you juggle between being a biochemist and also content creation i don't only really create content for myself sometimes you see some nice nice roles by four influencers by influencers and i'm the brain behind it wow. so i don't only really create content for myself i also create content as in creative direct and shoot for other influencers mm. as well mm. so um it's it's it's, it's off when I, I told you that it's like today i'm this tomorrow i'm that mm -hmm. so wherever you put me i'm fit mm. and so basically it's passion that's how i'm able to juggle between yeah that's beautiful and yeah. then i see that you also cook yeah I cook. right so where yeah. do you get your cooking skills from okay first of all everybody will say their mother <laughs> <laughs> mine is my mom and then my sister but then my sister had to shape me into who am i today because i stayed with my sister a lot than my mom mm. um and my mom because we are four boys and then one girl which is my sister and then like she's the eldest she's the oldest so she didn't actually grow up with us but i grew with my sister mm. and so um my mom taught all the boys how to cook wow yes and then it's like it's a solo thing we lost i lost my dad when i was young around like six seven months so my mom taught us everything like that how to cook how to She's alone. She's a woman, so she made us do women things. Mm. Uh -huh. And then I went to stay with my sister, and then 
I was like the eldest among the, my sister's children. Mm. So I was supposed to take care of them when she's not around, cook for them. And my sister literally taught me how to cook. I remember my sister teaching me how to prepare like banku and okru stew. Wow. That time it became like a whole disaster and chaos. In the house. <laughs> I had to chop slabs because the banku was just around the cast iron yeah. pot. And then, you know, ladies don't like yeah. messy stabs. So slabs and other stabs. But then at the end of the day, and also watching people's video. Wow. I see someone cook, I'm like, okay. I can do this. I can do this, okay. Let me just add this mm. and see what the outcome will be. Mm. Okay, let me just minus this mm. and see. I don't like copying. I like recreating in my own way. Wow. I won't copy the exact thing. Okay, you added this. Let me just omit that one and put this. And let's see how it works. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. That's nice. All right, so growing up, were there any like um, content Honestly, there's nothing like content creation in the past, but I mean, like, <laughs> were there any people in the blogging space that you looked up to okay. whilst you were coming up in this content yeah, in creation this industry? Yeah, industry. I'd always give the shout out to Lale Latte. Mm. So, um, I wasn't an Instagram person. I was more or less the, um, the Facebook kind of person. I didn't even know what Instagram was way back in 2016. Mm. So, someone came to my hostel in uni and then the person showed me a beautiful lady's picture. And it was Lali Lat. I was like, oh, this lady, she's nice. Oh, short hair goes. I really like the picture yeah, and then yeah. I like the person. Too. Like the personality stands out. I was like, oh, oh, this is this is actually beautiful. Yeah. So then he, he goes like, oh, you don't know her. She's Lali Lati. I'm like, ah, who is she? She opens Instagram. Then there I download Instagram because of Lali Lati. Mm. To go and watch what Lali Lati does. And I was like, oh, okay. So basically, like what I'm trying to do. So I in uni. I was exposed to YouTube than yeah. Instagram. So mm. I watch people's day in their life and then they are not Ghanaians, like Average foreigners. Before. Yeah. So I was like, well, I can do this. I can show my lifestyle. I can show people what it takes to be like mm. a university, Ghanaian university student in Ghana. Mm. So I wanted to do it, but I wasn't pushed. But when I saw Lale, I was like, okay, so this girl takes nice pictures. She gives like nice places to eat and stuff. So, okay, sure. I can do this. Let me also use my phone. And that's that. So I, I when I meet Lali, I always like Lali, Charlie, you are my backbone. Yeah. You taught me how like you are an, an inspiration for me in this kind of thought. That's really great. Yeah. That's really beautiful. It just shows that Charlie, whatever you are doing, mm -hmm. just keep doing it because you don't have any idea yeah. the motivation people will be driving from. from what you're doing, right? So my next question for you would be that like I the last time I saw you preparing rice and stew with yeah. salad yes at 9 p.m no it was yeah. 9 10. 9 10, 9, 10 yeah. is a 9 13 p.m yes. like, it's crazy yes. right so i'm just going to ask you like between local food mm -hmm. and then like continental dishes which one do you love preparing okay it's obvious we <laughs> like local food <laughs> We all like local food, so I enjoy preparing local foods, mm. like very local foods. I enjoy preparing. I can be then I was like, oh, Charlie Midi Fufu Acho, mm. Charlie Midi Grano Super Acho, and then I have to, but then for the international, I, for those like continental foods, I don't like, I like eating them, I don't like preparing them. <laughs> Very I think interesting. I, have, I have to start doing some content yeah. like lasagna and stuffs. Yeah. yeah. All right, sure, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so um, I'm just going to say that like content creation comes with its own like challenges, yes. right? As a 95 person, right? 95. Because mm -hmm. I know you do a 95. You have a 95. Right? How do you combine content creation? And then at 95. Yes, okay. I called you around six. Yeah, I was at and work. And you were still at work, yeah, right? And yeah. you were still going to shoot content. Yeah, like I don't know if I will shoot content when I come to the house. <laughs> <laughs> so like how do you do that? Like that is crazy. How do yeah. you combine it? So it's as I said, it's passion. Mm. You have to have the love for it. People who followed me like since 2016 till now, they know the consistency I've built on my channel. No even instagram alone mm. i have a youtube channel as well which i'm trying to like come back because i'm like let me focus on short videos now yeah but it's, it, it all dwells and comes down to you have to have love and compassion for whatever you do i, I don't miss work i work in the afternoon i'm a biomedical scientist at ridge hospital so wow. i'm a lab person and i work in the afternoon so wow. i have two to eight <laughs> so when i come 
Mm-hmm. I just want my content to be relatable, yeah. not any IS content, share settings no. and stuff. No, I want people to be like, oh, I have this space. I can also use this space to show people what they can also use DS for. So basically, you have to have their love for content creation and then consistency. That's what keeps me going. Oh. Wow. If I don't post a video a day on my page, I'm like, ah, no, something wow. is wrong. So normally you go to your house and prepare your noodles and eat. Yeah. Why not film it? <laughs> now I prepare noodles and eat at 9 p.m. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> See, I don't have time. Bro. I eat whenever I want to eat. Wow. So and how do you I keep your sure I exercise. Ah. I I so for places where I think oh, honey, hi, I I walk to that place. Mm. So I I won't wake Some up and drive my car. No. Let me tell you something, mm. right? I'm the kind of person, right? Even if I'm passing by, you're eating your own food. When I inhale it, I gain weight. Like I gain oh. weight, like. Crazy. See, my mom, my mom, and people who know me always say, ah, "Oh, don't when you can see a crowd." Mm. I've eaten. I eat. I don't eat that much. Mm. I I like food, but then I can't consume that much. Mm. Like one, two, three, four. I'm done. Um, you're done. Yeah, but then I eat. And then the weight is. Oh, I'm. I, I like who I am, and then how my body yeah. reacts to everything <laughs> because I can eat it at three a.m. and, you have and no then idea. I don't. I don't even gain no weight idea. and I'm still like, <laughs> I've been 69 kg for, I think, seven years. Wow. Yes. Hey, it's not easy for some of us, so <laughs> I'll come. I'll come for some jeans. But mm. at what point in time did you realize that blogging was profitable? Oh, okay. So I think when I started and then people, it all started when I started showing food online. Mm. So I like preparing food, as I said. So when I prepare it, I won't even show the post. I won't take the picture and then post it. And some time ago, I think earliest 2020, before COVID, so 2019, and one man contacted me on Instagram like, oh, we have a space. We are introducing this, this menu. We want you to come and try. For me, I was just going to eat and maybe pay them. So when I went there, they brought plain tea. I'm like, I'll eat this, I'll eat this because my money won't get to this. And I was like, no, eat it. I was like, hey, in my head, hey, this food will kill me more. How am I going to pay? When I was done, they were like, I like the bill. They said, oh no, it's on the house. We called it to come and try it, taste it and tell us what you think about it. When I was going, they packaged plenty. I was like, ah, what is going on? And then, uh-huh, the man didn't even talk anything about we paying you. When I was done, they, they gave me 600 CDs. Then wow. time will. I was like, 600 cities. It's like you wanted to just wait and be like, please, are yeah. you giving me sin? Is it a mistake? Like, <laughs> so he was like, This is for Lori Fair. I'm like, Lori Fair. <laughs> so that was it. So, but I didn't really try to market it and like wow. monetize mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. So, as I said, I'm behind plenty mm. things you see online. Wow. I work with like big, big people. So, this one because <laughs> that's so bragging. Uh-huh. Please allow us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the trumpet is so, in our hands. Let us I do was it. in a space and then they wanted food bloggers <laughs> uh-huh. for an event. Mm-hmm. And I mentioned people's name for the event and this person was paying them. So I mentioned one lady, I won't mention for contest it, please. Mm. Me, I like drama, so when they bring it, I'll continue, <laughs> but let me not start. So I mentioned this lady's name, and then they, they contacted the food blogger, and then he said, she said she would take 3,000 CDs. Mm. I was like, 3,000 CDs to come and eat and go, and then we'll give you a lot of fare. Just come mm. and eat and go. We are even saying come and video the place, so just come and eat, eat and go. go. I'm not shading anyone, like, price what you are worth it. Mm. But I was like, it, it, this is like one year ago, last mm. year. I'm like, ah, 3,000 CDs. Me, I'm just here. I can create a whole... So this is how I started becoming who I am today. I will take Sankofa Spice, mm. create a video for them to know that you don't have to hire big, big people. Bring it to smaller <laughs> yeah. people like us, and then we'll do it. That's what I started with. But I didn't know these big people were taking bigger money yeah. than what we were doing. So I was like, hmm, if this guy is charging 3K, that means if, if I'm monetizing my staffs, I can be able to do it. And then I, I can sit here and tell someone, oh, Charlie, for me, I'll come and review your restaurant. They're 3,000. Then you'll pay. Wow. I'm like, okay. So the, the, I wasn't shading the girl though, but yeah. I was like, I took something from, from her. her. But it, that time it was too much for me as a creator Man. who like 
okay, we are we are okay with the five hundred. We are okay with the come and eat we'll package yeah, it for you. Where you're going? Add you six hundred. No, we are okay with it. But when I had the three K, I'm like, mm. nah. There's money inside uh, this I thing. I now know for sure that mm -hmm. I'm in the wrong niche <laughs> from today. Call me a Kosia, the content creator. Yeah, yes. I have. Oh, there's, I have there's, 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 you know, Ghana, it's not stable though, mm. but then there is money in content creation. Wow. I always, when I get chances to talk like this, I always tell people, I wish a lot of Ghanaians utilize YouTube. Mm. I don't make money on YouTube, but if, if I'm you, consistent yeah. there, I, I can get it. And then you will not meet Ghanaians watching YouTube. If you sample 100 people, you yeah. get like one. one. But if you should sample 100 people, you should get like 90 it's people really, using YouTube. Yeah. So at least your, your your video will pop up on that person's recommendation mm. and they'll watch it. Mm. But there is a lot of money in content creation. Beautiful. But Ghanaians haven't ventured that <laughs> side yet. I just want, it's like, I don't know what I should say, it was a warning or it's a, it's a head start, but you should just watch out for me. Yeah, you should watch out for me. Yeah, I have yeah. switched. Oh, you I like that for you. <laughs> Uh, yes, I have yeah. switched. <laughs> anyway, so I was going through your page as well, and I realized that even in your bio, right, you've written that you're also into traveling. Yes. You know, health yes. or skill tag, yes. etc., etc. Yes. yes. And I wanted to find out, like, what's your favorite destination to travel to in Ghana? Oh, every way, every day, everywhere where I go and sit, Bia is always. West side. West side. Are you from Western? Western region? No, I'm from the central region. Oh, okay. But then there's something particular about the Western region. Mm. I like the Western region and then the Volta region. Mm. I go to the Volta region if I have any chance. Wow. But for the Western region, I, I don't like going there giddy giddy yeah. like that. I like going there when you know, there's something yeah. happening. Cool. <laughs> yes. So the Western region has they have one of the best beaches. Yeah. If you want to see Blue Beach, yeah. go to the Western region. <laughs> Accra and then the other places don't have Blue Beach. Oh. Blue Beach, Western region, Buzua, Botre, <laughs> then areas. And then the, the, the ambience there is calm. Yeah. It's soft. Yeah. It's kind of ecologic. Yeah. It's not plenty. <laughs> Volta region is quite Quite similar, but I think Volta region is quite plenty and then it's a bit harsh. But then the Western region is cool. it's very cool. Wow, beautiful! And they have one of the best foods too. Wow. I yeah. had one of the best fufu in Inzulezo, and the village before Inzulezo was yeah. so nice. Wow, it was so nice, and wow. it was less expensive, like cheap crowd. Yeah, cheap crowd, and it was so nice. <laughs> Guys, you would think that Akosia should have learned her lesson that every episode be a she come nanka there's a book here, there's a pen here, uh -huh. then I'm writing, then I'm writing, but no, I haven't learned my lesson. Anyway, so that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to check for that sound. Sure. And we'll have to go on a trip over there. Sure. What's sure, Aquaba up? Sure, Aquaba sure. up. Yeah. Yes. We have to all do right. that. <laughs> I'll have a whole item because I traveled all sister regions in Ghana. Wow. Yes. What? I traveled all sister. So before food. I've always been food. Biochemist is the background. And you know biochemistry is the science of life. And there's no life without food. Someone's telling me biochemistry. I want to go back to BSC and go and do biochemistry. Yes. <laughs> so I've always liked food. Mm -hmm. So I like traveling to the regions to go and see their culture and try their food. So I during COVID, when people were indoors, media was mm, you no know, after like yeah, after yeah. COVID slightly. Yeah. I was just jumping from one region to the other to, you know, explore the places. So right now I'm kind of, I use the, the name they used to call me was the Ghanaian backpacker mm. because I was backpacking each and every region. Wow. And now I'm kind of soft on that because I've traveled all 16 regions in Ghana and then want the money to do <laughs> West Africa. So that's why we are now doing more of the lifestyle. We, uh, we find our space ourselves mm. in. That's why you see more of the food and the more of the routines. This is so nice. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that you've done that. Oh, and I have. So when I'm I tell people, I'm like, so I'm like, proud. Oh, I feel so proud. I should bring back my archive pictures. Like, I should bring it back. So that when they come, I'm like, oh, aside, before food, there used to be a lifestyle. Wow. Yes. So wait, what is like the most beautiful place, aside Western, right? Because mm -hmm. I know you choose somewhere in Western. Yes. But where's... Okay, I know you choose Westing, mm -hmm. so maybe let me change my question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask, like, what's some of the cultural shock mm -hmm. that you have, like, encountered as somebody who has traveled to all the 16 regions? Cultural shock? Honestly, 
I'm one person who is open to everything. Mm. So I'm like, I I haven't been hit with a cultural shock yet. Mm -hmm. It may be to be a language barrier, mm. especially in the voter region, and then they like per direction crowd and they are speaking every. Yeah. Hey, but then I'm I'm used to I want to just maneuver my way around it. So I think I've not mm. been shocked yet. Okay, so yeah. when it comes to traveling, mm -hmm. right, would you prefer I the type of person that would prefer outdoor activities mm -hmm. like maybe cocoon or fro, mm -hmm. like you're climbing mm -hmm. roofs and stuff, or you're like the kind of person that would prefer like just going to sit somewhere and just look at the beach or probably like visit the castle. I'm hundred percent just... energetic person. Well, so let's do the cocoon. Let's care ourselves. We have one life. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. Let's care. Let's jump on the activity. I quite remember the last time I went to, I've been to, because I went to school, mm. I schooled in Cape Coast. Cape I school? UCC. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah, you said that. I, I mostly go to the castle and then I've never like paid attention to them. But then when we go to Kakum, I've visited Kakum like four or five times. It's always like the hyper energy for me. You are always on the go. So though the beach is also calm, but energetic activity always. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So as a content creator, right, obviously balancing your time, time management would be like your go-to, right? Because mm -hmm. balancing work and yeah. then content, content creation, creation can be quite like yeah. exhausting, yeah. right? Yeah. But aside that, what are some of the challenges that you also face as a content creator? Mm, basically, that's what you've said. I know when people are asked this, they'll be like, um, gears and styles. But Charlie, before gears is you, you know about like burnout and anxiety. Wow. So as a content creator, and even as where I find myself in as a mm. biomedical scientist, yeah. there's burnouts there too. And then the content creation industry, I'm creating for myself. Mm. I'm creating for other influencers who have been hit by bigger brands to work for them. And mm. then they don't have any stories. So they, they are contacting me to come and help them film and then direct and edit for them. So I'm wow. balancing all this. So there is always this anxiousness and then Chalema burning out. So one of the best way, I always tell my friend, there's, don't go and sit anywhere and tell them, um, I'm depressed, I'm stressed. No, you can be stressed, but you can't be depressed. You are allowed to be stressed, but you are not allowed to be <laughs> depressed. A lot of gigs and then I'm like, Charlie, Charlie, I'll, I'll just log out. Mm. and then go and rest for a day and come back with the energy i wow. like resting to come back with the energy other than piling things up and then you are okay let's do what we can do and then the rest can go wow that's my my mantra that's the way i move let's do what we can do do what you can do and perfect at it let people see that oh he did this and was beautiful other than do 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 do, do. and at the end of the day they are all chaotic so do and then present it nice. Mm -hmm. So when you are burnt out, relax, log out, relax, come back with the same energy and come and complete it. Wow. <laughs> so what is like one of the biggest opportunity, right, mm -hmm. you have encountered? Or what are some of the biggest moments you've encountered as a content creator? So as a content creator, one of the biggest opportunities, it didn't even happen though. So I was there and... Um, one brand hits me up. Oh, we want to work with you. And this is some. This is the brand I've always been posting. Not like to get the attention though, but I like it. So I, I'm not an alcoholic person. My body misbehaves when I take alcohol, even at five percent. Mm -hmm. So I like taking Club Shandy. And then Club itself DM me, and then they wanted to work with me. That's when I wanted to monetize this whole thing. So when they did, I was like, oh wow, this is nice. And, <laughs> I relaxed on that and I didn't give them my rates. And then they, they brought up, I was like, okay, I, can I work with your rates? Like, what is your rate so that we work around your budget? And then they mentioned some huge money, but I was like, mm -hmm, this is nice. <laughs> so we were working, I was waiting for them. And then mm. ah, before I saw now, they, they are working with people already. I'm like, ah, what happened to Tiozi? But anyways, we move. Yeah, yeah we, <laughs> we move. move. So that was one of the ones like, oh, Charlie, this gig there, yeah, it was so big. It was so wow. Big. But there are bigger ones coming. Yes, yes. That's, that I'll mm -hmm. always believe, mm -hmm. Charlie. There will always be like yeah, a super yeah. big one coming. Mm -hmm. But lastly, right, mm -hmm. lastly, um, when some, somebody trying to get into your space now, mm -hmm. right, what's that one thing that you tell them? 
if you are trying to be a content creator and you are trying to do whatever you want to be it's a digitalized world show up be very consistent and i always say don't underprice price what you are worth it i started off as i said trying to catch the attention of some brands mm. starting you can do that but Charlie, do what you can do and do what you can do do the best of what you can do mm. yes when you do the best of what you can do they will come and then when you mention some price they will pay you beautiful yes. yeah. and what's the goal you seek to attain through your content creation hopefully we go international we don't we don't we don't want to stay here and we want to we want to show ghana to the world yeah yes yeah. so you always see me doing like some unique recipes like the rice and zongo stew mm. and then the big I want to try that. oh i have to let you come home and then i'll cook some yes, for you yes yes the yes the big yes. jollof and mm. then the fufu do you understand see right now i'm introducing something called boy dinner so just eat from your house you're allowed to go to a restaurant because we now will come and put the restaurant that you have to visit mm -hmm. but once in a while you cook something for yourself and then you enjoy it beautiful okay. so we have a new session mm -hmm, in our podcast mm -hmm. called what's up charlie it's it's picking up it's picking up i like the name <laughs> and we reach out to our community mm -hmm. to um whatever question that they want to ask you right mm -hmm. so a couple of people came up with questions mm -hmm. and i have it here okay and i'm going to ask you this question somebody sure. is Oh yeah, sorry, you've already said that. So someone's like, I'm curious, what does his name Allah Dithiosi mean? So um I have a Muslim and in a Christian background. Mm. My dad is a Christian and my mom is a Muslim. Wow. And then it has run through the family. That is a Muslim and then the husband is a Christian. My brother is a Muslim and the wife is a Christian. Like wow. goes like that. And I'm left I'm the only person in the family left to decide to be a Muslim or a Christian. So when people see me like in SHS, people will say, Are oh, you a Muslim? And then more you come from Mamu be you're a Muslim, you're a Muslim. So to avoid that doubt, Al Haji. Mm. And then I had a friend, she said she doesn't want to call me Jonathan. And Theodore is has the same meaning as Jonathan. Mm. So she calls me Theodore. So Alaji Tiozi. Wow. Wow, beautiful. That's a very nice family mixing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then another one is why does he hey why does he dance in his cooking videos? Do you dance in your cooking oh, videos? Oh, some I dance. <laughs> I used to so I want my things to be like, okay, there are a lot of chaos going on in the world. Mm. I don't want you to buy your small data and come and cry on the internet. Mm. Buy your small data and come and yeah. laugh and go. Wow. Yeah, so if the song is nice. Oh, I don't know how to dance, but yeah. <laughs> I can do it for you. Okay, that's nice. And then someone is saying that in your cooking videos, why are Nigerians in your comment section always asking where are the eggs? People are always asking where are the eggs. Yeah, yeah, the eggs. Exactly. Like, <laughs> you, G, G, A, C, C, L. Exactly. <laughs> Let's show them. Egg, egg, egg is so nutritious. It's yeah. filled with proteins and a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, you have to eat. Yeah, it's like three eggs in a day. Oh. When I oh. wake up, yeah, sometimes three to four in a day. If I forget to eat, I have to boil one in the evening and mm. eat it. Yes. Yeah. All right, sure. So, like, you're also into routine, right? Yes. You're also into routine. Mm -hmm. So, how does, like, how are you able to incorporate? How does routine exactly? How does routine help you balance all these things that you're doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to wake up and know that I'm focused to a goal. And I'm one person who, if I if I don't write it down, forget it. I will do it, but I won't I won't do it to the exact that I want it to be done. So I wake up right now. I've stopped journaling and meditating i used to do that a lot and it was wow. so helpful but i just like let me just relax relax do it when you want to do it so you, we have routine and then routines helps a lot you have to take care in as much as you are showing up you have to also take care of yourself and basically that's routine mm -hmm. so i take care of myself my skin my tummy and then everything and then it's beautiful Beautiful. All right. Mm -hmm. So it's been such an interesting conversation. And like we are done. Ah, I'm even shocked. Hey. <laughs> I'm even shocked, mm -hmm. right? Anyway, so um, where what's, what projects are you currently doing that you like us to know about? 
Currently, um, I'm not doing anything giddy giddy. As I said, you'll be seeing me on your screens with more boy dinner eat. That's what I'm doing currently. Mm. I'm not having any big thing I'm doing, but soon something is about to happen. So awesome. keep on watching this space. Thank you so much. And where where do we find you? Obviously, it's allowed to use you Tuesday on yeah. all socials. On all socials. Yes. All right. Is there an underscore somewhere? I think Instagram is Alhadi Tuesday. Snapchat is Alhadi Tuesday. And then um, TikTok is he is Alhadi Tuesday. All right, sure. So you see all these ones on our screen. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. My name is Akusia. It was nice being here. Oh. You are so gentle. See, guys, the setup here is not easy. One, two, three. <laughs> if I turn you on see camera, yo, yeah. <laughs> and I like it. It's Dambias' is chilled. Okay. Beautiful. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for honoring our Thank invitation. Thank you so it was much. such. A wonderful conversation. Would you give me? Uh, do you have food here, Jollof? They have Jollof. They have Jollof. Yeah, they have Jollof. They have Jollof. Oh, okay. okay. I don't know. They, honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye. Bye.